and SAS protesters on Monday took to the streets of Abuja, blocking major routes to the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, to echo their demands for an end to police brutality, among others. Some protesters, while speaking with PLOS TV Africa, say that the protest will continue until the government keeps to its own end of the bargain. As a Nigerian youth, you don't have any future. And this is the only time we have uh, to express ourselves as Nigerians. And we know that in, we, have, we have gone to school and there is no way you get a job if you don't have money to buy. If you don't have money to buy a job, you, you apply and your application will be rejected. We are tired of it and we are out here to say our mind. They, they have been disbanding it often and on. This is not the first time. This is the fifth time or the fourth time for the past how many years. It's a serious disbandment, but they are not matching words with actions. Yes. So we yes. want them to match their words with actions. We yes. want a job! We want a job! We want light! We want everything good! We are fighting for our children! Yes. We cannot continue like this again! We have not been attacked with security operatives. The protest has been peaceful. They only try to block the movement. On that bridge when we are coming, Maraba Bridge here, the Mopo people block us that will not pass. More than two hours we are there with them. One of my colleagues, a young man, they beat him, he fainted there, called a spade, a spade. The other young girl also lost her handset. They beat her till she fainted. I am so happy uh, with the whole thing and uh, I want to commend my fellow Nigeria for what they have done so far. Because this morning I took it upon myself, I said, whatever it takes, I will join. We, they have been making us a fool for a long time now, and right now we are tired to be fool forever. Because right, what we need to do now is to protest and air our mind to them for them to know that we have been suffering.